Greetings, YouTube. Happy Tuesday. We do not have an offer to review today in the game, but it is a good opportunity to discuss something that I don't think I can really discuss too soon, and that is a plan for progression, even for free-to-play players, for next month. I do not believe it is an exaggeration to say that November of 2019 could be the most hyped up month in the history of the contest. And if that sounds like hyperbole, let me explain. So we have uh, hopefully confirmed two of the biggest champions to ever come to MCOC coming in the same month next month. We have Silver Surfer and Dr. Doom. And that's going to be crazy in of itself. But besides that, we have... What July 4th always seems to be only on steroids with Cyber Monday. This is the first time we ever saw so many six-star shards introduced in an offer last year. This is the first time that we saw the five-star generic Awakening Gem, which I held on to for over six months before finally using on Omega Red. And I just have to say that if you are someone who needs units or needs uh, certain rank up materials because July 4th, if you're a Cavalier, uh, is something that gave you the opportunity to either take like a six star up to rank two or a five star to rank five based off of the choose your own progression. Uh, I do want to say that if you are looking to start saving up, and that really is the overall point of this video, you need to save a minimum of... 10,000 units, if possible, but really 15,000. And some people are going to be like, Prof, I don't grind in the arena. That's impossible for me. Okay, well, that's fine. But if maybe you think it could be possible, you just want to do it. Now, I uh, have always done my best to not only save up uh, iTunes gift cards, but at the same time also to use some of my YouTube money to invest in offers. And I'll say... You know, before my YouTube channel, before I did MCOC, I had probably spent about a grand on this game counting gift cards. And in the past two years, I've gone from spending one grand to collectively spending over 10 grand. So that is a full disclosure. Now, I would say about 4,000 of that is gift cards and 6,000 is cash. But also keep in mind that my YouTube channel has made considerably more than that in revenue. So I often look at it as just reinvesting in my channel and giving subscribers, particularly if they're mega crystal openings, something fun to watch as well, because that's the whole point of why I started the YouTube channel wasn't to make money. It was to connect with awesome people and give people a reason to enjoy their day by hopefully clicking on my video. Thank you for clicking on this as well. The big question becomes, Prof, in terms of progression... What should I expect? Well, when it comes to story mode, keep in mind, we're going back to Act 5 for this. You just have to beat the collector, this big question mark on the bottom right screen, once to actually become uncollected. And if you are somebody that's kind of flirting with the idea, you have between now and Cyber Monday, which is the Monday following the American holiday of Thanksgiving at the end of November. And this year it's super late. It's at the very, very end, the last week of November. Uh, you're going to want to save up everything you can, and in the meantime, become uh, uncollected. Now, there are people who have told me, Prof, you really should, if you're going to do this video, remind people of the loophole that came with July 4th. I guess there's no way for them to close it off, and even if there was, they made a bunch of more money off the people that took advantage of this, so I don't know what even motivation they have to uh, close the loophole. But what the heck am I talking about? Okay, for those of you who are uncollected right now, if you, going to Act 6, get all the way to the birthright chapter, and let's just jump in here real quick, because here's what people did on July 3rd, or even the morning of July 4th. Uh, they were, were uncollected. They saw the uncollected offers, and they spent probably at least 500 bucks on units, and they snatched up, I think, the generic five-star awakening gem and, and everything. So that they got the best offers for uncollected. And then... They went into the game, and they had made it, some of them, because they told me, all the way, all the way to the Sentinel boss. They were basically on, like, this node. And so once they collected all the uncollected offers, they went into the Sentinel boss, they defeated the Sentinel boss, 
And some of them actually used uh, some of the units that they bought from the uncollected offers if they needed potions and revives. This only happened to like two people who told me, but you know, it's still two people. And they um, became cavalier that day. They quit out of the game, they refreshed the game, and they had brand new offers courtesy of their new progression. So they bought the best uncollected and the best cavalier. Probably spent over a grand. I am not advising you do that because that is a crazy amount of money. Like I know people uh, who that's the money they spent on their first car or their current car, or that could pay definitely rent for a month for them in like a two bedroom apartment. But at the same time, if you have the ability to do it and you are looking at some point to spend that kind of money on the game, you better wait until Cyber Monday to maximize your return on your investment. So really the takeaway from this video is to become uncollected or cavalier along with saving your units and maybe your your iTunes credit or whatever uh, for that day. I'm going to be using my units for featured calves because that's really become a tradition every time they come out with subscribers and live streams and I Skype in mods and we have a blast and this Friday we'll be celebrating Mama Bear's birthday and so it's a big opportunity to open some crystals and have some fun. Captain Bay will hopefully be on via Skype as uh, a lot of these units were courtesy of a gift from him thanks to New York City Comic Con. So uh, in general, uh, that's going to be what I use my units on, but I will be most likely investing a good chunk of my YouTube money from November to Cyber Monday offers to continue to you know give uh, – more content and get back to the community and produce more videos. So uh, if you're considering this, make sure that you either put yourself in a position to do the loophole of getting right up to this boss when July, or not July 4th, but Cyber Monday hits, or at least become uncollected. The biggest uh, regret I heard from people is that they didn't know or didn't believe me that the progression status was going to determine your offer. And so now we do know we have a template for July 4th for the first time, and we have a heads up of when the next big offer is going to be, and that's in a little bit more than a month. So push for Cavalier, push for Uncollected between now and then. Save your units, save your disposable income. You'll be so thankful you have as much at your disposal for uh, spending on that day. So that is today's Prof Hoff tip video. Hopefully it lights the fire under some people in the next month or so to become Uncollected or to get up to the doorstep of Cavalier and compare. If the loophole is closed this year somehow, then I guess you would regret not become Cavalier the day before the offers hit on Cyber Monday, but given how much more money Kabam made off of those people, it's still hard for me to believe that they would incentivize not to make more money off it. But that's just me, just thinking the way that Kabam often thinks about maximizing profit. They are a for-profit company, after all. Have a great day, YouTube. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for supporting my Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel.